Hey guys, Sinjuri here, and I would like to share with you guys one of my Holy Grail kits. Ha ha ha! Yup, yup. There it is. So, it's the HMM uh, Lagger Zero. Uh, it's from Kotobukiya, I'm pretty sure, but it doesn't say anywhere in the box. But, yeah. If you look it up and type in Kotobukiya, that's what shows up. <laughs> but it's also from uh, Takara Tami. Mm -hmm. There it is. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should call this a birthday haul or not. Because I'm not really sure who sent this and why. <laughs> so, uh, like, was it yesterday or the day before? Um, the mailman came and they handed me a package and I wasn't expecting anything and it was a pretty big box so yeah it was this guy um, there was no return address well there was but it was a PO box there was no name there was and it was addressed to me so I don't know <laughs> I'm assuming this is a birthday gift mm -hmm. from someone I know I guess Dave Justin mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm confused but I have it Yes. Uh huh. So this is one of those kits that I really want, but too expensive for me. <laughs> there it is. So awesome. And well, let's just do an unboxing, anyways. Uh, show off the box if I can. There it is. So uh, the Liger Zero is um I could say it's kind of like a base. Like a base kit or a, a base zoid, and he could have attachments and whatnot. So this is his like basically bare naked form, and you could throw on like uh, other attachments and stuff to him. And he'll become something else, like either for speed, for um, like attack, or all that stuff. So here's the other side of the box. And here's the side that shows off cockpit. Uh, shows off uh, has water slides. It says zero on it. Yep. Just showing off the actual Liger Zero itself with armor or with the uh, Liger Zero armor and without. And you go. You can see all the pieces, the white pieces that um, come with this kit. Alright, and let's just get into this. There's a lot of runners with this guy. He's kind of almost in between like a perfect grade and a master grade. It's almost like the um, uh, Sazabi for Ka. It's that many plates. <laughs> so let's just get into this. Uh, there's going to be two plates for the D. It's going to be like this. And these are for the uh, legs. Okay, let's just throw it right there. Uh, got the B plate. I think this is more of the uh, the leg parts, or at least the inner frame. Don't know if you guys can see this. <laughs> okay, here's some of the uh, white armor. There's the cockpit hatch right there. And if you thought this was just all white and black and red, nope, you're mistaken. There's more colors. So it has this uh, weird, I don't know what to call this. It's kind of like a pale light blue. It's like a toned down light blue. And it's for, uh, I have the manual right here. There's like pieces for like right there. Uh, any of the, basically the joints and a little bit of like just color splashed onto the uh, inner frame, I'm assuming. Yep, so that's that. And then I know this piece, it holds the, um, the core. Yeah, the Zoid core. Alright, 
here's more of the uh, white armor. Here's the um, little accent hair kind of thing. <laughs> Got more of the inner frame. Actually, a lot of more of the inner frame. There's more. And I'll just pick out the other ones, I guess. Or, I don't know, I'll show them off, I guess. There's not many more. So, here is more of the armor. And there's two plates of the Q. And then here's two plates of the F, which is one of the smaller pieces for the inner frame. I think it's um, some of the thrusters. Yep, it's some of the thrusters. Okay, and we also have poly caps. So this is just uh, plastic on plastic. It actually has poly caps to it. Like you know, most Kotobukiya kits, yeah, they're plastic on plastic. But the Zoids, uh, they actually have poly caps for them. So yeah, it's better, kinda. Long run, it's better, I guess. All right, here's more of the white pieces. Hmm. Did I just see Cuba first? <laughs> Well, there's more. And there's two of them. Okay, and let's get on to this guy right here. So here's all the like, brown accent pieces, which are part of the um, the gun on the bottom of a... Uh, right there. Or it's kind of dark, but you guys can see that right there. So he has some guns underneath him. And this is part of it, and how can I explain this? I don't think it's really going to show it well, but it's like a dull brown color. It's almost like wood type color, like a faux wood. Yeah. Alright, here's all the little red accent pieces for the legs. And right now... How I'm seeing this, it's coming out pink. Maybe it's coming out pink for you guys, but it's pink. It's supposed to be pretty like dark red. Alright, let's see what else we have. More detail pieces. Uh, here's some of the pieces for the actual feet. Maybe you can see that. A little okay and here we have uh, not really mechy well it's not mechy at all but it's kind of like um like a bandai gold but a little better it's kind of like bronzy in a way but it's for the um the actual like feet or toes or claws I don't know what to call them. <laughs> it's a zoid. <laughs> and it's for the um, lower jaw and for the teeth, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of color separation with this kit. Alright, still a couple more things and that's it. Sorry, everything's on the floor right now. <laughs> it's a pretty big box. Alright. Here is uh, the inside of the innards of this guy. And there's going to be two plates of that. Here is all the pistons and everything and screws, which is pretty cool. And you got two of those, and these are also for the legs, which is pretty nice. Here is some more poly cups. And one tray of clear so this is for the pretty sure it's for the cockpit go yeah I think it's for the eyes okay and you get a marble no I'm just kidding 
So this is the um, Zoicor, which is pretty nice. And then I'll show that off in the review. And it also comes with a tiny little figure of the pilot. I don't remember his name well. I haven't watched this in a while. I think it's like Blitz or Flitz or some kind of Itz. <laughs> there he is. And last but not least, those water slides. There they are. So you get two of them, I think, on each side. And that's it. That's the whole box. And you get this really nice manual. Here it is. So unlike um like Bandai ones, it's kind of I don't know how to say that. It's pretty messy in a way. Since sometimes you'll have like if it's a smaller kit, maybe like a like a high grade, you'll have like legs and like arms all on like one page. But this one, it breaks it all down. So you got the head, weapons, the bust, the waist. And on each page, it'll highlight which one you're building. So let me... Alright, see? Right there. So everything will be grayed out. You'll get that white part. So this one's for the head. Which is pretty cool. I kind of like how like this kind of format. It makes it really simple. And let's just show off like how the head is. So this is all the instructions to build a head. It's a little more complicated than the uh, Bandai ones because there's a lot of parts like flying every which way if you can see that. Like it it won't break it down into a lot of steps but you know. There it is. And let's see if there's anything else in here. I think there was a splash page in the middle. If I could find it. Nope, not there. Was there a splash page? Oh well. There's a nice little color guide. And I kind of like this one. It's like line art and it shows off all the. Um, it's all the weapons for it, I guess. This is the uh, guns on the bottom of the Liger. Uh, here's the tail gun. Um, the I don't remember what they're called, but they're the claws and they glow and they, you know, they rip like zoids apart. And you got the thrusters right here, which is pretty cool. And yep, that's it. And just the back page showing off everything else else on the uh, box itself. Yep, there it is. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna really enjoy this. <laughs> so, um, I don't know who to thank for this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna thank someone. A thank you <laughs> for this awesome kit that I'm gonna love and treasure and like do all this awesome work with it. Y you guys are gonna see whips up the wazoo. <laughs> because I don't really do a lot of whips. You guys know that. <laughs> Why am I saying whips? I don't really like that. <laughs> Work in progress. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next time in the review. And once again, thank you to whoever. <laughs> and bye-bye.